Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to be coding my Volkswagen Scirocco. You might be asking, how am I going to do that sat at home? Well, this is how I'm going to be doing it. So the way I'm going to be doing my code... Okay, I can't even speak out of my head. So the answer to that question, guys, is this. This is the Carista OBD port sensor thing. I'm not too sure what the actual name is. One sec. Yeah, I think it's just called Carista. So basically, this plugs in down into your OBD port down there and you plug it in and it connects straight to your phone and you can unlock amazing features you can unlock hidden features customization and service stuff and also you can look at all the things on your dash so if you have a problem on your car like i do i have my dpf light on i can read that on my phone and i can see exactly what is wrong without having to take it to the garage and spend a lot of money so let's just get straight into it okay so i got my phone here and i've got it all connected so if we go into the app now here we go, we've got the customised feature, diagnose, service and live data. So the one we're most excited for is to customise. Let's have a look. So if we click on that, it says now connecting to my OBD device. So let's give it a sec. I might have to turn the car on. Do I have to turn the car on? I don't know. Okay guys, so the whole thing is downloaded now and as you can see, we have all these amazing features on the phone. So we're just going to go through them and start having a mess about. Needle swipe, yes. I want that, that's sick. I'm going to save that. Okay, loading purchase options. Oh, okay. So I have to pay for the thing and for that. Alright, we're going to save the needle swipe. Let's have a look at this then. Alright, so I've turned the needle swiping on. Oh, sorry, the camera went for this. So let's see if it actually works. So, oh my god, that is insane. Oh my god, it actually works. Bro, this is so cool. Honestly, if you have a spare like 25 quid, I think that's what I paid for this. This is honestly worth it. It just adds those really little things to the car. It actually is so cool. Okay, lights, come in and leaving home. Coming home, lights disabled, we want those on. Let's save that. That's quite cool. Okay, we'll put the fog lights on. We'll see if that looks any better. Oh my god, there's so many things. This is actually sick. Okay, lights, interior. Yes, we want those on. Locking automatic, auto lock doors when moving. Okay, here is another sick one. Locking, beep and blink. So hopefully... Okay, yeah, so allow configuring beep when locking slash unlocking. Let's give this a go. Save. Alright, it is saving now. Okay, guys, so if we take a step out of the car now, it, um, it should beep when we lock the car. Oh, we go through shut the door. Alright, here we go. Ah! Bro, that is so cool. Oh my god, alright, we'll try opening it. Oh my god, that is also amazing. Oh my god. Honestly guys, I've literally activated like two features and it is just so insane, this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, this one's insane. You can adjust the level of volume for your parking sensors. The amount of times I'm driving and I'm just, you know, doodling along, whipper in reverse, going into a spot, and all I can hear is this crazy beep, like, beep, 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 and it's just getting on my nerves. Obviously, because I can look at my uh, display and I can see how close I am when I'm reversing to something, so I don't really need the beep. So I'm going to put the beep down from 6 volume to 3, and we're going to see, I'm going to see what that is like. Oh my god, no way. I can change the noise that it makes for the parking sensor. Okay, I think we need to, I think we need to go try this out, one sec. Okay, so I've moved the car now and I've just parked up against the wall, not too close obviously, but obviously if I put it in reverse now, oh wait, turn the car on, if I put it in reverse, that is the beep right now, you can hear that, it's quite annoying. It isn't as loud obviously because I just did the thing on the Carissa app where I can turn it down. But we're going to go through this setting now. We're going to see how I can change the beep. And why is my radiator on? Okay, so that's everything for the customised feature on the Carissa app. So um, now we're just going to have a little bit mess around with the diagnose and the live data. As I said, I do have a warning light. So we're going to have a look what that actually is. Diagnose. Oh, it's reading it. Okay, yeah, we've got one fault. ECU scanned okay let's have a look 
Okay, so I was looking through all the diagnos but I can't speak the diagnostic features and it, it really scared me because it came up on my phone and I had 30 faults in my car. But then I reset um the app and it was fixed and I only have like two faults, so thank god. <laughs> so yeah. Car is all okay. Well, not all okay, but she's drivable, so we'll stick with that. Okay, so I swapped to my phone camera now because my camera ran out of storage. Nice one. But yeah, so that's probably the wrap up today's video. Uh, this has been me coding my Volkswagen Scirocco with the Creaser app. So this has actually been insane. It just adds a little really cool premium features to the car. If you have a spare bit of money, I recommend getting one. It is really insane. But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe for some more car content and scooter content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Everything